I, my name is Maria Chijove. I'm the platform director at MoveOn, and I am super excited to talk to you all about our election program and what we have planned for 2018. So as I was preparing for this conversation, I was really trying to reflect on what do I think this election boils down to. Um, and the thing that I kept coming back to again and again is this need to electoralize the resistance. It's not a terribly innovative new idea, but um, I kept thinking about the energy that we saw at the Women's March, uh, the energy in the March for Our Lives, um, the, all the calls, all the donations, all the folks who were out doing something, engaging politically for the first time in their lives. And then I thought about taking that energy, infusing it with an electoral framework, and setting that loose to power not just a blue wave, but really a blue tsunami. That made me really excited. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's really at the core of our program as we think about our work for 2018. So our, our electoral program is made up of three parts. First, we're gonna tell the story of this election in our own, in our own words and in our own terms. So we are wrapping up a message researching project right now to understand what are the issues and what are the messages that really activate voters? What are the things that get people excited? And then we're gonna make sure that those are the issues that are at the forefront when we're talking about the election. Second, we're gonna mobilize on a massive scale. So our plan is to organize tens of thousands of Move On members and their friends and their relatives to volunteer directly for campaigns in their community. To do that, we're gonna train hundreds of Move On members on the ground to organize canvases, to organize phone banks, to recruit their friends and to show up at campaign offices and be that infusion of resources. And then we're gonna invest in technology and training to scale that all over the country. And finally, we're gonna innovate. We're gonna focus on getting authentic videos of voters out there and using that people-powered approach to encourage folks to vote for progressives up and down the ballot. And we're gonna drive millions of views on original move on content on electoral issues. So in short, we're gonna tell the story of this election, we're gonna mobilize thousands of people, and we're gonna innovate. And we're gonna do all of that in service of move on members' number one priority, which is to end GOP control of the House. Um, so we've identified 100 districts that we believe could be competitive in a way of election, and we plan to endorse in those districts. Uh, we're focusing on candidates who are running on a bold progressive agenda, who are focusing on economic justice, social justice, and who are representative of a diverse and inclusive nation that we want to see. We're also focusing on building our long-term power, on building a deeper bench that we need in order to affect the systemic change that we want to see. So to do that, we're focusing on the state and local level, where we're also going to endorse 100 candidates who are potentially the future leaders of our country and who could help reshape the Democratic Party. So we've already had over 550 folks apply from 46 out of the 50 states, um, and these folks really are phenomenal. Um, they are, you know, I, I don't think it's an overstatement to say that they are the future. But as we look at the work ahead, from our top priority of taking back the House to the down ballot work to everything that we want to accomplish, one of the things that we know we have to do is partner deeply with allies out in the field. The way we win in November is not by turning inward and focusing on our little, our little territory over here, but to working as a broader movement with our allies, with our members. Um, and looking around this room, I see some past partners and collaborators. I see some folks that I would love to collaborate with. Um, and that makes me really energized and excited about this space and spaces like it right now. Um, and that's energy and excitement that I think we need because it's been a rough 18 months. And right now is not a time for us to say, whew, I'm tired, I'll take a rest. Right now is a time for us to face our biggest challenge yet and also our biggest imperative. I don't think that it is a hyperbole to say that this election is about stopping the destruction of our democracy as we know it. But our election mobilization can't just be about resistance. It can't just be about the things that we're against. We have to paint that progressive, inclusive picture for voters of what we will accomplish, not if we win, but when we win. We have to inspire voters to not just vote against Trump, but instead to vote for a progressive, inclusive, inclusive vision of our country. 
And that's what I think is at stake, and that's what I think this election is really truly about.